it's hard to pick just one experience. Certainly being a um, member of a civic association and working to try to get improvements in my community and seeing how much work and effort it can take to organize with my neighbors in order to achieve a goal is something that really has informed me both as a candidate and the vision that I would bring to the county board. I've also seen how when working together, people with very different ideas and, um, and perspectives can work to achieve great things. And that's also been something that's really informed me. As a nonprofit uh, employee for virtually my entire career, I also know what it means to be able to work for a cause that you believe in, to work for long hours, and to have to bring a lot of different resources to bear in order to achieve goals that you have. And certainly all of those things uh, inform me as a candidate. Thank you. Um, I would say just shortly that you know, I've held leadership positions for a, the majority, actually all of my um, adult life. Um, a lot of my friends, um, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of national security work, so my friends are always joke that, well, Tyrone, you know, if you could you know, bring people and communities together and move forward with uh, community improvement projects in Iraq, you could probably do them, um, do them pretty well in Arlington, too. And I, I would hope so. You know, hopefully we can find out. Um, but also my systems engineering um, degree and background um, gives me the ability to see how processes work in a very efficient manner. Um, streamlining processes, um, always ensuring that cost-benefit analysis is, is done for projects. Um, and so that's, um, those two experiences, the leadership aspect and the systems aspect, of, I think is what I would bring most um, as a county board member. Thank you. Thank you. My assets are my perspective and my approach. And this is a perspective that comes from being directly in the community, not only in civic associations, but also as a volunteer first responder, also as a Kiwanian, also my business perspective. In my day job, I help physicians use computer systems and exchange information securely so that we can improve patient care and reduce costs. I manage over six teams from anywhere from 27, about $27 million, and I know how to take something from strategy to execution. I also bring my political background and my background for all of us to be able to collaborate and to come together and to make sure that we are solving problems in an efficient and a cost-saving manner. Well, I've talked about my experience on the school board, um, and I bring a fresh perspective, actually, because we do things somewhat differently on the school board side, and we really have a culture of continuous improvement with goal setting, clear priorities, transparent processes, and, and a way of monitoring, making sure that we continue to improve. But I think most of all, actually, what I bring is a broad and deep network of personal relationships around the region, across the state, and actually at the federal level as well. Um, for example, a number of years ago, I worked for several years with superintendents and board members around the state to improve K-12 education. We actually came to consensus, and that included Arlington County with the highest uh, teacher salary, and Bedford County with the lowest, and we came to a, a consensus about teacher salary, lobbied the state, and actually did quite a bit to improve K-12 funding. Um, I also uh, saw the need for better emergency preparedness, and um, I'm on the uh, Council of Government's Emergency Preparedness Council. There I've worked across the region uh, to help get an outdoor alert system that serves us today here in Arlington. You know, the problems and challenges we're facing, transportation, affordable housing, they cut across state, regional, federal lines, and I think those deep personal relationships that I've got and the ability to work with people will really benefit Arlington quite a bit. And I <coughs> Thank you, Tom. Uh, I would say that, as I said really in my opening, uh, it's my broad range of experience. Um, as a planning commissioner, I have hands-on experience in transportation, housing, education, urban planning, zoning, long-range plans. Uh, most of the initiatives you know, of the last seven plus years, I have personally been involved in. Um, some I've agreed with, some I haven't. And I always feel there's room for, for tweaking and improvement. Um, and you have to look at that when you're on the county board. It's not just what one thing you're going to advocate for. You're governing for all, and it's again, it's balanced competing priorities. Uh, clearly, my reputation for being very fair, uh, paying attention to the underdog, not just the familiar person in the room who you see all the time, who's very good at getting their points across, but you know, the people who are a little new to the process, the newcomers or whatever their situation may be. Um, and again, finding the balance. And again, a reputation for independent thinking and not simply saying, oh yeah, sure, okay, I'll go along with whatever you want to do. I'm a full voice, independent on day one.